this I'm going to be using this pretty stained phone case. Just to be clear, just so you can get an idea of how much I used it. I just paint over it. But this one has like a this kind of edge, kind of like a round edge. But yeah, you can use any phone case that you have. Then I'll work with some um, tape and I'm going to tape a piece in the middle. That's going to be my, like my base. I'll go from there. I'm going to make sure that everything is taped especially the edges because of the next step. Then I'm going to be taking another piece of tape. This one doesn't have to be all the way around. This is just to mark the space of like the tape itself. It's just for reference. Um, then I'm going to be taking another piece of tape. This one, like the first one, has to be taped in all the way, making sure that the edges are, well, pretty strong there. Then I'm going to be using the tape that I did to mark the space. And I'm going to mark this piece again and pretty much going to be doing that all over my phone case using that as a guidance and then just taping the ones that are going to be actually staying there pretty well. And at the end, I'm just going to remove the tape that I was using as a guide. Once I've done that and I have my tape all over the place, I'm going to be working on my darker color for that. I'm going to be using this red and black acrylic paints, this small glass bowl that I have for mixing my paint. I find it easier to clean it after like this and my brush and I'm going to be uh, mixing my black and red making this a burgundy kind of color giving this three coats until it's opaque and I'm going to wait for my paint to dry and just when my paint is dry I'm going to be removing the tape it should come right off and it's really satisfying to see that happening when you when you can see like the stripe of paint then for the yellow I'm going to be taking yellow and black acrylic paint and this time I'm working with this detailed brush I'm going to be mixing first my yellow with my a tiny bit of black and then I realized that I needed some orange, so I added some. And then with my detail brush, I'm going to be painting in between the lines. Just uh, being really careful to not like paint over the red, but I actually saved some red just in case I went and overlapped my lines. And yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like so far. Feel free to just step right here. I think it looks really cute, like they're like tie. And here I just want to share with you something that I wanted to go for, but I didn't do it. In case you want to print a Gryffindor's logo, you know, you print it, you cut it, and then you glue it on top of a phone case and it will look something like this. But I wanted to have his glasses and his mark. And for that, I'm going to be using this baking tool, actually. Piping tool is Wilton's 1M. And this is the image that I'm following away, drawing that part of the glasses like that. And then Harry Potter's glasses are round like so cute yeah that's how i'm doing that part of the glasses like this placing my piping tape and just tracing it and then for his mark is a lighting bolt that's how i'm doing this part then to paint this i'm working with my black acrylic paint and my dating tool this setting tool i did recently and it's one of my favorite ones it's a toothpick guys and i just made this like handler feel free to check it out it's on my channel but i'm going to be using that to paint the glasses and the mark you can use a small like detail brush but um, well to me i find it better to work with this like this finally i'm going to be adding some gloss i'm uh, using this spray gloss but you know you, you can use like top coat for nails any kind of gloss i just think it looks better with the gloss on it like it protects the sign and it looks cuter it actually makes like the colors pop up but yeah guys this is pretty much the phone keys that i want to share with you i love harry potter